when we pass with our forearms, we wanna make sure we have a strong base. So I like to do this. I like to do this wall warm up, even, even if I have a passing partner, just to get all the muscles loose, get ready to ball, you know? I actually cracked my neck right there. Initiate the drill with the toss. We're gonna to be nice down and low, right? It doesn't matter how tall or short you are, you should be nice and low. When we pass, we wanna make sure our palms are up. We don't start like this because if you're playing defense and your hands are glued together and a person hits it really hard at your face, you can't protect yourself. So palms up so you can protect yourself at all times or pass with your hands. So when we make our platform, one hand over the other. Some people do like this in the gym class, left over right, thumbs out pull thumbs down like this. I personally go left, curl your left hand in, fingers in, right hand across or around it, thumbs down. That's how I like to do it personally. You just kind of adjust to it. Make sure your thumbs are down. See the whole time I've been low? I wanna make sure we're nice and low. Also your angle of your platform. We're gonna really focus on that against this wall. But this is the perfect passing stance. You'll see all the top players really be able to open up their hips, angle their platforms. That's how you pass dimes. That's how you pass money. So you see, when I'm going to be passing nice and low, my heels are not on the ground. Now, obviously, when you make contact, you want to make sure your heels are on the ground and you're holding. First, you want to start out nice and short. You're just lightly using your legs. The platform is nice and tight. Trying to stay nice and low. Shoulders are together, your back is engaged. Platform is there. So now we're gonna take a few steps back. We're gonna pass about 10 feet, right? In a volleyball match, depending if you're left back or right back or middle back, it's gonna, you, your pass distance is gonna be about 10, 15 feet. From there, that's where you wanna work on. Obviously, during the match, you might have a pass that's coming 40 feet. You know, if you're chasing off the court and pull it back in, or, or you're passing to your setter who's from me to you. That's why you gotta go at all distances, no matter what. So let's work on the 10 feet passing. Same thing. I'm just going straight on. I'm not working on angling the platform. Once again, I'm just passing. So from the side, looks like this. See, I have the space. If you do not have the space and you do this, the lower your platform is, the ball is gonna shoot off of it. The higher your platform is, the higher the ball is. So it's just the angle. It's literally physics, okay? Straight on. You'll see me take a step. It's a very comfortable step. I don't want to step outside of my range. Usually I don't even like stepping outside of my range, like even here. I like to really bring my leg up with it. So we're kind of parallel. But you saw sometimes you're not gonna pass it, not sometimes, all the time, basically. It's not always gonna be dead on straight. So you're gonna have to open up your hips. You saw me, I opened up my hips and turn. You see my platform? That's the money part of your platform, right? If one arm is just red and the other isn't, that means your platform's off like this or vice versa. But you see, it's right on the money. You'll use the higher part of your platform um, more frequently during serve receive and when you're digging, just because there's more variability of where the ball is going to go and you're reacting more than just here where it's really obvious where the ball's going. All right, same thing. Let's switch up the angles. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be, this is targeted, like I said. So we're going for the, in between the beige and the white. So we're still working on that 10 foot distance. You see when I pass, I'm really getting my feet there first. Established base, nice and strong. My back is also strong. So you see how I was targeted the whole time? Once again, you can see it doesn't hurt, but my arms are just red. I haven't played in a long time. Hitting on the money in my platform, really controlling that ball. Sometimes you have to guide it just a little bit, but if you start swinging the whole time, you're gonna lose control. Basics, right? So this time I'm gonna change the angle so you can see what I look like, how I'm tracking the ball with my eyes. Obviously you've seen it. I'm gonna be hitting the same part of that wall that you just saw, same side, but this time, I'm gonna be a little further back, right around that 20 foot from me to the wall. I'm gonna be really working on angles. You see how I'm nice and low. Passing, you see how when I need to pass, 
to the right. My left leg is further in front to open up the hips. Same thing on the left. My right leg's forward now so I can pass the ball to the left. Just physics, right? Gotta use these puppies. Really gotta use these legs. Really press, okay? Going left and right, so you'll see it from this side, and then I'll flip it back over so you can see it from the others. Also, when you open your platform up, you'll see your left arm drops a little bit, and your right shoulder comes up. Same on the left side, see? So I'm gonna start, you're gonna have to chuck this ball really hard against the wall. You get it come, to come back to you 20 feet. We have to make sure that our platform and our back is engaged, meaning both are tight, because one, it gets you warm, your legs, you see how I have to really open up. Once again, you can really see I'm hitting that target. This is good feedback. This is feedback, this is feedback, all right? You see the outside? This outside part is for me angling the ball both ways. You see, I have to drop this shoulder, so it's gonna hit more the, the outside of my forearm. So on that one, I really focused on pushing the ball, right? So if you have to, if you can't move your feet fast enough to get back behind it, you gotta do a drop step. Drop step, opening your right leg up, bam. Now my platform is faced towards my target. Same thing on the left, bam. You see how I hold it? Every time I pass, I wanna hold that. So we're gonna really work on that drop step, okay? That drop step, our right hip's coming back, opening up to the target, same thing to the left. I'm gonna focus on just going straight a couple times, going right, going left. And there you have it. You saw how I did the drop steps to the right, to the left. So this angling of the platform, this is gonna be vital for serve receive. We wanna make sure we can master our angle and serve receive as well as digging. We can't really focus on getting our feet there perfectly like a free ball. So this is really nice. It incorporates both the legs, but more focuses on the angling and the platform. We want to make sure we don't swing our arms. You saw when I just swung and didn't hold it all or no control, you lose control of the ball. So thanks so much, guys, for your support. It's been incredible. We have hit 50 subscribers. I am so jacked. Let's go. I love you guys. I got more content coming out. Please share, like, and subscribe. See you in the next one.